So today guys, I have a great little video for you, which will see you being able to get your hands on arguably the best ranged weapon in this game. But it gets even better because this is a better version than the one you can craft. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, due to the crazy amount of support on my cyberpunk videos, once a week I'm going to give one person a chance to win any game of their choice, no matter the platform they play on or where they are in the world. To be in with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. The more of my videos I see you supporting, the more of a chance you have of winning. Good luck everyone. So this weapon is a weapon I've already covered the blueprint too, but the blueprint version isn't as good as this version for a couple of reasons. Firstly, this one doesn't require you to be a level 18 in that technical ability attribute due to having to craft it plus this version you get extra benefits on a weapon too so the weapon is the Ashura Smart Sniper and it is an absolute incredible weapon as you probably know but there is guys a secret side mission where you can grab this weapon free of charge simple as that so the side mission or gig is called an inconvenient killer and it consists of you entering a nightclub and locating a certain someone now the way in which this mission plays out, it doesn't really matter, you can indeed take all the enemies out within this club and finish the mission and go back in as I eventually did, or you could do as it suggests, avoid entering combat within the club. But either way, to farm this weapon, you can't be in combat, as I guess you know. So when you are in this room with this jack lad, there is a loot box which consists of the Ashura Sniper. Now this can be an epic version and it can be a legendary version. To farm this, stand next to the box, create a manual save and then just keep loading that manual save until it becomes a legendary or you find the role you want. So far I have found 5 different versions of this weapon which give you those extra benefits over the crafted version of this weapon. You can see you get an extra perk in which can make this weapon much much better. The 5 extra perks I've found so far are Locking on lasts for 2 seconds, longer after losing sight of the target Increases projectile velocity by 50% Reduces lock on time by 50% Allows you to use smart weapons without the required cyberware And the weapon tracks 2 additional targets Which I don't think actually works on this weapon Because it fires one shot and then it has to reload Now I understand if it fired a couple of shots at once but this is the version I did initially go with, tried out, couldn't get it to work, it's probably just a me problem, so I went back and farmed for a better version. Now obviously, whatever version you want, you do want it to have the 4 mod slots, obviously. But yeah guys, it is as simple as this in game, what in my opinion is the best, or definitely one of the best range weapons in this game for sure. So do what you gotta do, and I hope this guide helps you out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the weapon, I'm pretty sure you will. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.